So, welcome to the Apex Twin unboxing of the Schuberth E1 Radiant White Helmet. This is the Apex Twin. And uh, to kick off with the unboxing, I'm going to start with why I've just purchased an E1. And if you look closely at this little specimen in front of me, which is my Araya Turex 4, uh, which has been the most dutifully and beautifully serving helmet I've had for a long time, and you might see it in my videos, um, it's a little dinged, as in scratched and scraped, consequent to me dumping my um, <laughs> Ducati Hope motor. So a couple of other scratches and scrapes are somewhere underneath here, there's a half a knee missing, there's a couple of things going on down there, but those are not important for today. What's important for today is that um, I'm going to get to unwrap something that I'm really excited about, which is the Shubeth E1. I've done a lot of research on the helmet, but I'm not going to talk facts too much. I'm really just going to go through the joys of opening a brand new helmet, um, taking it out of the box, uh, peeling off those nasty little stickers, maybe put it on my head and just get a sense of what it's like to uh, breathe in all of that beautiful brand newness of the uh, Shubeth E1 helmet that I'm going to uh, reveal to you in a moment. So, au revoir, my beautiful Arai RX4, yeah, I mean Turex 4 sorry, you have been a magnificent servant, and thank you very much uh, for protecting my face and my head from that. Um, so let's set aside this wonderful helmet, this long-serving servant, and bring to the fore the culprit, or the centerpiece, or the star of this show, which is the... Um, Shoeberth E1. I love it on the box. Wear it. It's a Shoeberth. So that immediately tells you that it should not spend a lot of time on. Oh, there goes a crutch. Should not be spending a lot of time in this box. It should be out and it should be on. Now I'm not going to be riding for another few weeks. And I, according to the doctor, uh, it's probably another four to six weeks before I ride again. I doubt that's going to be the case, though, knowing me. So I'm going to be riding a little bit sooner. But wear it. What do I do with that if I can't ride? Well, I wear it. I might just wander around the house with it with a camera on. I might ramble into it. Um, I'm not going to do anything crazy, but I'm certainly not going to let it lie around gathering dust. As long as it's in my eye line, it's going to get attention and might get some uh, play time. So, all right, so the E1. Let's have a look what else it says on the box. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with the sort of the graphic presentation allowed. Very sexy, very cool, very eye-catching. I mean, the orange is striking enough, the corporate color. Um, that's the crap on this box that I don't like. Why did they use a Triumph Explorer? Why? Uh, not the greatest example of brand match. I mean, if this is the pinnacle of uh, modular adventure helmets, then where is the pinnacle of adventure bikes? Shoebirth. Let's talk. So branding. Uh, here's an interesting little factoid. So when I bought this, I was asked to log onto the Shoebooth website and register this helmet using my serial number. Critically, because if, God forbid, I have an accident with this helmet and it's damaged, Shoebooth would like me to return this helmet to them so that they can study the consequences of the impact. And in exchange, which I found fascinating, generous, and completely in keeping with a premium brand, they will allow me to purchase a replacement helmet at, uh, the counter salesman wasn't too keen to divulge the exact price, but he said roughly one third of the full replacement value. So insurance companies kiss my butt because the excess on replacement would have been about the same. Uh, here we go then, let's dive a little bit deeper into, and if you want to read up a little bit more about these stunning helmets and have a look at some wonderful photographs and help yourself be inspired to buy some, www.shubirth.com, not a bad site. Tip though, Shubirth. Um, it's very nice to see the helmets, beautiful, the graphics, the photography is lovely. It's wonderful to see the variety of visors and sunglasses that you offer. But I would suggest an opportunity to kind of configure a helmet because actually choosing a colorway and then matching a visor and a sunglass shade could be an interesting dynamic which might encourage a purchase. So, for your next iteration. Nice and simple for merchandising, the E1, it's a fantastic looking helmet. I'm truly, truly impressed with what this helmet looks like. The fact that it's a modular helmet, but it seems so seamless. Yes, there's a line through it, obviously, but the overall design doesn't give away the fact that this helmet actually flips up, in my view. 
and then uh, <coughs> a bit of orange and a bit of logo and a bit of website address. So moving on now, we're going to start with the unboxing. And if you don't mind, I'm going to continue to take a bit of vapor as we go. So five years Schubert standard guarantee, another great selling point. Five year guarantee, not bad. Now, let's start with the really cool stuff. Do you, it's taken so much patience for me to do this because ordinarily when I get something like this, I just rip it open, tear it open, grab whatever is inside and start going for it. And today I've had to be a little bit more patient, a lot more patient in fact. So uh, there's a little warning on the inside, please read the user manual. Now that's just not for me, I'm not a guy who reads the user manual. And besides that, I think I've read a lot of this information already online prior to purchasing this. So a pretty good idea. Uh, there's some great reviews at revzilla.com. So if you want to go and have a look at uh, some of the selling points of this helmet, why you might want to own one, the features and characteristics, go to Revzilla and have a look. And if you're up for it, maybe you can purchase one from there. Although I discovered myself that they don't ship helmets to South Africa, or at least not this one. And I'm guessing it's got something to do with safety regulations. So first of all, before I even unveil the helmet, I decided that this helmet would look best configured with a dark visor. So I've immediately purchased it with a dark visor and I'm going to attempt without looking at the manual to install this visor uh, right in front of your eyes. So that's it, the dark smoke. It doesn't look as dark as the visor on there and that's a bit concerning. It looks more like a light smoke and that means I may be returning it. I'm just hoping that this is tinted enough because that's the effect that I wanted and me I ain't feeling it right now. However, that's against the dark background, this is against the white background, we'll see. So we'll get to that, so we'll set that aside. Right, moving back to the helmet then, let's get it out of this damn cardboard. Oh, the guy I bought this from, David at Motomate. Uh, oh, I think those are extra, oh, that's for when you remove the visor, so the plugs, I think, for the um, swivels on the side. Uh, once you take the uh, peak off, sorry, not the visor, then you can plug those back in. So great little feature and from what I understand and what I've seen on YouTube, really easy to institute. All right, so away with the box now. Thank you very much. So well, I don't know guys, I'm deeply disappointed. Once again, I've been let down by the um, capture uh, app. It intervenes every single time I'm trying to record something of importance. So you've missed all of that. I don't know what I've recorded. I'm gonna have to go back and have a look, but. Uh, I've unboxed, I've taken the cover off, I've had a, gun, a run through the packaging which is stupendous. I've had a look at all the little bits and ancillaries, I've spoken about the, um, the warranties, I've spoken about the fact that if you take the helmet back uh, after an accident and, and, and hand it in, Shubuth will reissue you with a brand new version of your helmet at a third of the price that you paid for it. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that just premium brand service that it's best? Uh, really excited about that. So uh, I've gone over the beauty of this helmet, the simplicity of this helmet, and I'm sure that if you go to places like Revzilla and go and have a look at a nice technical review, you'll be equally excited as I was upon being demonstrated to how fantastic this helmet is and rush out and buy one yourself. Uh, go and see David Motomate. He's got a good supply of Shoebirth E1s, um, and his service is good, his price is right. Uh, Dave's your man. Now, Okay, I'm trying to get you kind of a, a lazy Susan shot. Oh, right, there you go, there you go. We can slow that down. Ah, oh, this is all falling to pieces. Anyway, it's whiling away the time. Um, so next up on the menu is um, attending to, yes, so what I was saying was, I really hope that the pin lock on here is transferable because um, I've bought that visor, I want to put that visor on here. I'm really hoping that that visor, first of all, it doesn't look nearly as dark as that, so I'm not sure it's the dark smoke. And what I think I'm going to do right now is pause this video and go online and have a look and see, because I think David's done me a dirty.